how do you see AI transforming the customer experience and hospitality, particularly in areas like hotels and restaurants? Well, I guess like how I would answer this question is like, okay, so I'd break it down to um, like like the booking beforehand, right? And so how do you see see AI transforming the customer experience of all of this beforehand and booking hotels, booking restaurants. I'm pretty bullish on that and excited about it. Like if you think about the challenges today of talking to someone about I'm thinking like restaurants, like understand, hey, what's on the menu or something like that. Um, I think that's a really poor experience today. Um, I know of a few restaurants actually that are actually outsourcing um, their phone calls to like another area of either the business or even outside of the city to somewhere else to answer those phone calls, even take orders. And that's like such a terrible experience if you're calling a restaurant and you're like, give me an answer somewhere else. So from the early stages of it, I think AI is going to really transform that. Uh, again, it's all based on if they have all the information beforehand, but that should be figured itself out. Now, AI during the experience of like the restaurant experience and, and even a hotel experience, I think that if you think of like hotels as an example, I think getting on the phone, maybe ordering room service, like not having to go through an IVR. If you think about like the positive experiences, it was like someone picked up right away and was like, hey, like, what do you need? Um, offering kind of like one to one hands on experience of like what's good, like I could bring you whatever you need. Um, and usually you see that at uh, obviously like higher ends and five star hotels. But now I think AI kind of brings that back to whoever really needs to needs to utilize and wants to provide that sort of experience, even if you don't have the staff. So uh, I, I'm excited about something like that. Follow up was just, do you think customers are ready for AI to handle the more proactive aspects of their travel slash hospitality experience? Because like, you know, right now I'm still going to go to a website and book the flight myself. I'm not going to like trust an AI that like, yeah, if I show up at the airport, my flight is there, my hotel room is ready. But obviously that's where we are now. We could get there. Um, and then the kind of follow up to that is, do you think that customers will ever get to a point where they do hand, hand it all completely off to AI? Or do you think that human support slash travel agents will continue to play a role in the decision making when it comes to like booking or reservation chains. Hmm. Uh, I. Yeah, and so this this goes into why I'm so excited about customers human in the loop because right now at our current stage, um, I I really believe the answer is no. Like any sort of new technology, sure you're going to have some people that are super excited about it, um, but especially with restaurants, travel industry, you want to hear from uh, a like a real person representative on the other side of it saying like, hey, I just want to confirm here are the, the dates that we have for you and so forth. And you'll feel so good, especially if you're making like such long distance travel. You just want to hear that. Um, and I think that we will get to that point of like then just kind of accepting that, hey, I'll get an email back of a confirmation. That's great. Sounds good. Um, where my head went to was, um, something like Uber, like all of a sudden you shift, you shift from like, all right, Uber is on the phone. Um, and you're not getting the, the call from the Uber driver really at that point when Uber first started of like, Hey, like I'm going to be at your door at this point in time. You're actually just looking at your phone and you're seeing what time Uber is here and you see the map of where they're at. You just trusted that it's going to get there without any sort of confirmation outside of a screen telling you. Um, so I imagine it's the same. It's the same thing um, where we're going to get to a point of like, you're just going to trust it. And it's going to be based on if AI starts giving you more of the, the right things at the right time. If it starts messing up, I'm talking about hallucinations, I think we go backwards a little bit, but um, I expect it to, um, you know, we'll start getting used to that. I'm sure it's pretty similar to when pe like people used to have to book with the travel agent, you know, okay. that person would handle your flight and hotel. And now I've never used a travel agent for anything. All travel I've ever booked. I just went to the website, boom, they send me a confirmation and I've got my number. So I'm sure that AI is just kind of that next iteration. Right. And now, you know, we'll, let me ask we'll you, collectively hope, get there. Hope. Would you, if you're traveling to traveling to somewhere in the middle of Europe, like, would you use someone? Interestingly enough, um, I, for my trip next year, I was, I've never traveled to Europe and 
I was asking my friends, like, you know, how do you book travel when you go there? Because you kind of have mm-hmm. the option of these like American chain hotels or these like better located boutique hotels. And it's like, well, right. I kind of want that experience. And I asked two different people how they handle it. And both of them said they book through their like credit card rewards travel portal. So they're not using a person, but they're using a portal that they have trust that that yeah. is going to take care of them. Yeah. See, that's why I think it's like it goes back to the the actual hotel, the actual restaurant of like, who's the clientele that you're really marketing towards? Because I, I asked that, too, because my my mother is traveling to Italy for the first time. But there was no way that she just could go online and like figure it out herself. Right. And she partnered with the travel agent and like a travel agent, and like booked everything and all that stuff. And so I do think at the end of the day, what remains consistent with what you said and with like, like my mom, <laughs> the real my mom. My mom's uh, point of view is like you have to trust like you have to trust someone in the process right. and so that could be uh another individual and in their travel agent that could be a website and you've dealt with before that could just be word of mouth and friends i think there's something there um but that's still super key in the process yeah. and i know you got another question but just something that is a tangent off of this it's kind of like a reminder that they, they must maintain a consistent like experience throughout the whole customer journey and I think it's going to be really hard to do that, right? Because all of a sudden, AI gives you the power to answer your customers' questions in a different language, provide 24-7 support, um, uh, offer like a website in any sort of language you can imagine. Like, you know, all of a sudden you know, you're Italy, but you can now advertise to anyone in America just by utilizing AI. And the problem is, though, that if that if that experience that you're creating on the front end doesn't match the back end, or at least you don't talk about what it's going to be like at the hotel or at the restaurant during that time, you're going to create uh, worse customer experiences, even though you might be creating a better customer experience in the beginning, but the whole customer journey is going to really be terrible at the end. Well, this is kind of a fun follow-up question. The study authors discussed how AI can handle mundane tasks so employees can focus on enriching the guest experience. How do you think AI can help hospitality businesses balance high-tech and high-touch service? Yeah, I, I think it's it's a it's a blend of providing now the ability to answer questions twenty four seven. I think in hospitality that's so uh, important as guests can come in in the mornings, in the afternoons, super late at night. Like, how can you answer questions around the clock? Um, so that's that's something AI can do right off the bat. And then at the other side, like if you're starting to do that, you can then move certain people from answering that phone call to more of a higher end experience. Um, I'm trying to think like off the top of my head, like what, what would that be like? Um, I, I think that it's challenging a little bit though. Like I, this is one area I was reading it where I think in the hotel industry or even in the restaurant industry, you hire people for specific skills, right? Like a restaurant, like you're going to be a bartender. You're not going to like very, I mean, I'm, unless it's like a, a very small place, but like, you're not going to be like the bartender. Also, you're going to like the, the server as well as the welcoming guests in the host, like the cook, like you hire people for their specific skill set. I think the same thing goes for um, the hospitality industry as well, too. Like uh, if you're going to be welcoming guests, usually you're just going to be at the front desk. If you're going to be doing concierge, usually you just hire someone that's concierge. I think what could happen, which is really interesting to see like how this would uh, result or not, but AI takes the place of one of those jobs. Like they're great at like, okay, now you're just going to be welcoming guests or now you're just going to be providing the uh, support on the concierge or you're just going to, AI is just going to take care of the concierge. So the question I have is, is will, uh, if you're going to have to teach your employees new skills, like it's not going to be, here's a brand new skill focus just on them because then AI will take care of that. Like what people will have to recognize is like, you're going to have to know a little bit about a lot of different things to provide that high end touch service. Um, and so that is going to be really interesting to see how hotels and restaurants start educating their uh, employees on just being a little bit of knowledge across the whole customer journey. Right. And so that's going to be interesting to see. I think that's valid because like, right, when you go to a restaurant or stay at a hotel, like an AI isn't going to be the one that's going to like 
cook your meal or be the one to change your bed sheets, but it could help the people in like the call center expedite their work if you have an issue or, yeah. you know, maybe be more proactive or, or have a favorite P word personalization, you know, maybe it's not, um, you know, it's not like when you're in the hotel or in the rest living that experience, you know, in the real world. Yeah. It's kind of the tech side. Well, the, 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 it's not like robots, right? Like, so had their event last week, right? And they introduced like robotaxis, but they introduced those. They're, oh. they're the optimist robots. So uh, there, there's a question of like, oh my gosh, are they ready now? Like everyone has a different opinion. I I have no idea. Um, but I will say like, if that's the direction, eventually we're going to get there. It's either one year, it's either two years, it's either five years. But why I say that is because I think it goes back to like if there's a person that has one job, right? Like you just said, like there's the uh, there's the cleaning service that comes in that makes your bed at the hotel and that like cleans the shower. Like you could see eventually a, a robot taking care of that, like because it's a, a simple task that's done. And so it goes back to like how can you then provide more of that? Like the jobs that will stay will be the jobs that are more either proactive or just like the highly complex of like, well, it depends my job because then it's like if the customer is asking for something unique or if it's providing a, a unique experience. So as long as brands start thinking about how they can go from, all right, a one task employee to more of an employee that is more well-rounded, like that is going to be providing multiple services or depends on the needs of the customer. That's what's going to provide a great experience and then a great experience too for the employee that can provide that. What's the last question you had here? So the study authors note that AI can go beyond customer experience and support the hospitality industry with business management things like forecast, demand forecasting, revenue mm -hmm. management. So my question to you is, do you think hospitality brands should try to adopt AI in their customer support teams or their business operations at the same time or start with one? And then the follow-up is, how would a hospitality brand kind of decide where they should focus their AI resources? Hmm. I think it depends on what type of the business you're, that you're optimizing for. And I think it's okay to start it with two because it, in, in that regard, like the customer support is completely different than the internal processes of, of utilizing AI to predict demand. And so uh, as long as you have uh, different departments that are supporting both of them. I think that's fine. They can share learnings back and forth, but I don't think it would um, impact one another. But again, I think it just goes back to like, stop using AI as like the ultimate solution for everything, but go back to your business and say, hey, like we really need to drive efficiency this year, or we really need to drive top line growth. How are we gonna drive top line growth? Or like, how are we gonna improve customer retention? And so you have to start there and then see if there's a, uh, solution out there that utilizes AI that can help you with that is is how we should always go back to it because there's too many businesses today that are just using AI tools just because it's the newest, latest, and greatest and stuff like that. So I think um, that's super important. And again, if you go back to just the the principles of customer, like human in the loop, human in the loop cannot be uh, more important, especially in the hospitality industry, especially right now with so much going on in providing that human experience. Um, and that consistency is so important from the beginning to the middle to the end of whatever you provide at the beginning should be the same as what you provide at the end in terms of the customer experience.